Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we are passive, but we make some noise. We are using the passive buzzer. Okay, we want to use the passive buzzer. The hardware setup is pretty easy. The hardware setup, there is a plus and a minus. I plugged it again in 11 as digital output and ground to ground, minus to ground. So this is, this is I think, sufficient. I will also use the same program again yeah, for the passive buzzer. I'll just save this under a different name. I will save it under 21 passive buzzer. Yeah. The bus pin is the same, the pin mode must be the same, this is everything the same, this is nice. But now we need to put out the frequency. Okay, this frequency, put this away, can be used with tone. Hmm? Tone. Yeah. We use the bus bin. And now we give some hertz, let's say 200 hertz. Yeah. Then we delay a little bit. And then we have to call, call no tone. Or I will simply call another tone, twice as high, yeah? then I will delay, delay again, and to turn it off, we have to use no tone. Okay? And we also have to give the bus pin. So this program should play 200 hertz tone for two 500 milliseconds, half a second, then a 400 hertz tone for 500 milliseconds, and then shut up and wait a quarter second. Yeah. Let's upload this. Let's hear what it sounds. In between, between the low tone and the high tone, we do not have any, any stop. Yeah. Well, here we can make different heights of tones. This is already nice. Uh, the, the frequency we give here should be between 30. There is no tone below 31. And, and 20,000, of course, yeah, because this is what we no longer hear. And we could also give a duration. Yeah? So here we could write 200, then it would play for 200 milliseconds. Yeah? If we try this, yeah? We will hear that the lower tone is short, 200 milliseconds. Then we are waiting 500, so we have a pause now between the short, lower tone. Yeah. If we are not writing it like that, yeah, then we have to call no tone to shut up. All right. So that's actually it. Yeah. We could even use, for instance, Make a tone ladder, yeah, or make int i. Yeah. Then I will say for i equals 30, 30 hertz. We want to start with 30 hertz and we'll go up to 4 kilohertz. Yeah. And are getting higher and higher and higher and higher. And then we will play the tone with the frequency i. Okay. Then we will delay for, I don't know, 30 milliseconds that we hear the tone. And that's it. And then we will start at 4 kilohertz until we are higher than 30 and going down. Okay? So we are going up now and going down now. Let's hear how this sounds. Plug it in. Sometime I fear it explodes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nice, isn't it? Yeah. So you're here, we're going up. Yeah? This is this four loop here. Going up. And we should reach somewhere this four loop where we're going down. Now we are pretty high already. This was some resonance, this was really loud now. See, there is a perfect wave, a perfect frequency where this is working pretty well. Now it really starts to hurt in the, in the ears. This is nice. I guess you can think how it sounds like when you're going down again. I will stop this now. Ooh, incredible. So we can play tones with different frequencies, with different uh, durations, yeah? because I just want to, I just have to select the delay. And so I could really make music. Yeah? So uh, you could try to play some tones as a reasonable yeah for instance like this you know this yeah <laughs> you could try to do something like this it must not be a whole melody like I've tried. Yeah? You try simply something. Yeah? Play around a little bit with these tones. You see, it needs a little bit more effort in encoding. However, working better. Yeah? Working uh, more versatile. Yeah? You can use it in a wider range simply. Okay, this was making noise. We've done now quite a long, uh, a lot of things. A long. We've come a long way and did a lot of things. Uh, so we turned on light, we turned on and off something. Basically, that's it. We read in some data. But how is this? How do we do if we want to turn on something bigger? Not just a LED, but a bigger light, yeah? or a motor, or something like this. Something which drains more power, yeah? which simply needs more power. We cannot directly plug it into Arduino. Yeah? We can expect this is working. We need something in between. Okay? There are several things which we need. We need an additional power supply. We need switching element to switch this additional power, and so on. Yeah? The next videos will deal with this. The next videos we are going to discuss what is necessary to switch something a little bit more powerful. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.